Howard Stern Show. So, like, I follow, like, Us Magazine and stuff on Twitter. Okay. And, like, just recently, like, you were nude on there. Like, titty and ass and everything. Oh, my. Am um, I right? You, <laughs> you did a shoot you of some right. kind? In St. Bart's, I did a photo shoot. But just... <sighs> For fun. You got some fucking body oh, on you. Oh, I thank you. Oh, I my worked God. fucking hard for this body. You're goddamn right you do. I was the fat one, and now I... Yeah, like, you were the one everyone was goofing on. Yeah. And, and, and that must have been really bad for you growing up, because you're growing up in the, you know, and, and, and everyone's, like, goofing on you, and you're the, oh, you're not the hot one, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you, like, kind of became the hot one, right? Well, my entire life, I've always been compared to Courtney and Kim. They've always been... Hot. Hot. And right. even in your so-called awkward phase, they didn't... <laughs> I don't feel bad for their awkward phase. It right. wasn't that... It wasn't that awkward. No, right. it wasn't that tough. And don't feel sorry. In mine, I had a major awkward phase for a very long time. Did that cause you to retreat? Were you... Did you have low self-esteem? Were you like, I'm just not the hot uh, Kardashian? No, surprisingly not. I've always had an incredible amount of confidence. I never thought I was fat. Like when everyone said I'm the fat sister, this or that, I never thought that. Right. Looking back now, I see how unhealthy I was. Right. But I still wouldn't say that's a fat girl. I would say, okay, she's a little overweight. She could use the gym or maybe cut back on a donut. Is it fair to say you got in shape because when you married Lamar, <laughs> mm-hmm. you were young mm-hmm. and uh, you suddenly, you would live with your, you know, your mom and your sisters your whole life. You'd always been near them. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you marry a big basketball player, big superstar. You move to where? Dallas? Yeah, but at first, we were in L.A. for like three and a half years. We only moved to Dallas for like six months. But when you moved to Dallas, Uh wasn't that hard for you? I mean, you were away from... I mean, in a way, you're really attached to your sisters and your mom. Yeah. No, Dallas was a super hard move for me. Um, I'm so close with my family. And also, we moved... Right around Christmas time, it was my first time ever in my life being away for the holidays. And I know it seems childish to some, but that was a huge deal for me. Did you try to get into the Dallas lifestyle, make friends there, etc.? Or was it just too Not difficult really. with your fame and all of that? It was really difficult. I mean, people on the team, some of the wives or whatever, we would try, but... It was or were they jealous of you, the wives on the team? Because there's a tremendous... Competition. There really is. Yeah. I don't... I don't know. Not a lot of them were accepting to me. There was two that were really accepting to me. Right. um, Which was great. But it's also, I was there for such a short amount of time. And it's also awkward. I was nervous. I was, and again, I did not have my security blanket of my sisters to go to the games with me. It was really just So didn't you then hit the gym Mm -hmm. instead of eating? Yeah. Instead of eating shitty food and and dealing with your, you know, awkwardness or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, you started hitting the gym obsessively, right? Yeah. What kind of workouts were you doing in Dallas? It was a lot of cardio. I We lived at this great, the W had like a condos and they had a fantastic gym and it, literally no one was in there. So all day long, I had nothing else to do. You just worked out like a fiend. I just worked out and I was also really anxious from being there or if Lamar was on the road. That's what I would do if I was just bored. I would just literally watch TV and do cardio. And I was See, like, that's how? the TV show. That's you getting hotter and hotter and hotter, <laughs> just <laughs> tightening up, right? I mean, it was it all paid off. But I didn't really start... How long before you got hot? When you were working out, like, like all of a sudden, did you start looking in the mirror at yourself naked and going, Jesus Christ, my stomach's flat, my ass looks really hot? No, at first, like the whole time in Dallas, I was like, what the fuck? All I'm doing is working out and nothing's happening yet. It takes a minute to notice a change. Yes. Um, I would say at least like six months until I really noticed. I was like, okay, I'm finally getting muscle definition. I mean, I didn't want to take on everything too soon. So I did not really adjust my diet. It was more working out at first. Right. For a good year, I finally built up to doing like four to five days a week. Right. And then, but that took time. It was like two to three days a week at first. Yeah. And then I incorporated a and, healthier diet. And you got really fucking hot. And like Thank like when you. I see uh the the reason I like you is because <laughs> I think you're more relatable because you went through a phase where you were